Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about the basics of RTK technology and how it's possible to achieve centimeter level accuracy with GPS. What is GPS or GNSS? GNSS is a space-based positioning system that consists of constellations of satellites. Satellites in space transmit information to GNSS receivers on Earth. This information is used to determine position. Most of the people are familiar with GPS systems in their cars and smartphones, but what is the difference? GPS is a type of GNSS. It's a positioning system owned by the US. There are four kinds of fully operational GNSS in the world. GPS, Chinese Baidu, European Galileo and Russian GLONASS. GNSS is used in various fields to provide accurate, permanently available position and time information such as surveying, mapping, drones and robotics, agriculture and urban development, among others. On one side the satellites are in space and on the other side they are GNSS receivers on Earth. A GNSS receiver is a core component for satellite positioning which converts signals from visible satellites into position on Earth. The GNSS receiver basically consists of an antenna, which is used to receive satellite signals, and a receiver, a board with a GNSS module which decodes the satellite signals. Standard GNSS receivers, like the one in your car or mobile phone, have an accuracy from 2 to 10 meters. And this accuracy is only possible in outdoor conditions. So the best that can be achieved is an absolute accuracy of about 2 meters. What are the causes of error? The transmitted signal from the satellites travels through the ionosphere, troposphere and atmosphere, slowing down and perturbing along the way. Because of that, standard GNSS technology provides positioning with low accuracy. If we place several GNSS receivers next to each other in an open field, they will have the same 2 meters error in the same direction. This error is known as the standard GNSS error. Thanks to this peculiarity, it is possible to calculate with 1 cm accuracy the relative distance between receivers. This is the basis of RTK technology. RTK, real-time kinematic, is a technology used to improve the accuracy of GNSS positioning. But how it works? Imagine now we place one GNSS receiver in a fixed known position with centimetric precision. This fixed receiver is called base station. The base station stays in one place and sends corrections to a second moving receiver, which is called rover. The rover uses this RTK corrections to calculate its centimeter precise position. So RTK corrections are the information sent by the base station to the rover, so that the rover can calculate its position with centimeter level. In order to calculate RTK position, base station and rovers need to see more or less the same satellites. For this reason, the RTK corrections are only valid up to a distance of 50 km from the base station. Some people say 25 km, others say 50. The exact number will depend on the antenna and receiver quality. RTK corrections from one base station can be used by several rovers, as long as they are within this 50 km range from the base station. This would be called a multi-rover setup. It is also useful to know that the local factors such as signal blockage due to buildings, bridges, trees, indoor or underground use or atmospheric conditions may reduce the accuracy. But what happens when you go beyond 50 km from the base station? In this case, it's not possible to have 1 cm accuracy anymore and accuracy degrades very fast to standard 2 meters. RTK correction signals can be received in three ways. From a fixed base station, through an IP network called NTRIP, or through SSR services. First, RTK correction signals can be sent from base station to rover via wired or a wireless link. As mentioned before, RTK corrections from one base station can be used by several rovers as long as they are within 50 km range from the base station. If you want to have multiple base stations to cover a large area, or you have problems to guarantee line of sight between the base and the rovers, you need to use the second way of receiving RTK corrections. 
NTRIP is a language or protocol that distributes RTK corrections over internet or local wireless network. There are three elements in an NTRIP network. An NTRIP cluster is a server that collects RTK corrections from one or several base stations. An NTRIP server is a physical base station which sends RTK corrections to the cluster, so the cluster can distribute them to rovers. In this network, rovers are called NTRIP clients, which want to receive RTK corrections. There are networks of base stations with corresponding NTRIP service in some countries. An NTRIP provider is a company or government that offers paid or free access to its NTRIP clusters in the area. If you are lucky to have an NTRIP provider in your area, you do not need your own base station, all you need is a rover. But this approach requires a stable internet connection, and in some countries the price of NTRIP service is very high. SSR technology is the latest generation of GNSS corrections that removes limitation of distance and internet connection. SSR services use a network of base stations to model major errors over large areas and then transfer the correction models to the rovers via geostationary satellites. All the rovers on this area rely on the same stream of GNSS correction data. In this case, the accuracy of SSR services is somewhat worse than an NTRIP or local base station, but is always better than 10 cm, being the average 2 to 4 cm. And the most important, it doesn't matter how far is the base station, you always get this accuracy in all the coverage area. So it is better than local base station if your local base station is very far. So the advantages are wide coverage, reliability and availability without internet connection. But each SSR service provider offers its own proprietary protocol and there is not yet a fully compatible hardware. In summary, GNSS is the generic term for satellite navigation systems that provide positioning with global coverage. Standard GNSS technology provides positioning with low accuracy of 2 to 4 meters. RTK is a technology used to improve the accuracy of GNSS up to centimeter level. RTK corrections are the information sent by a fixed receiver, base station, to the moving receiver, rover, so the rover can calculate its position at centimeter level. RTK corrections can be received from base station to rover directly as long as the distance is less than 50 km in ideal outdoor conditions through IP network, NTRIP, over internet local network, using SSR services via gestationary satellites. Benefits from RTK GNSS technology are used in surveying, mapping, agriculture, robotics, drones and urban development among other fields. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about RTK technology, you can visit our website or just contact us. We always answer within 24 hours. Try us. Have a nice day and goodbye.